Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm continuing my playthrough of the Web of Dreams campaign with Dexter Drake and we are playing a thousand shapes of horror scenario. I ended up with 6 XP in the waking nightmare scenario. Uh, in the playthrough I made a big mistake uh, of forgetting one treachery card activation every time I failed a skill check. So uh, after watching the playthrough myself, I decided to deduct one XP from the XP I gathered in that scenario. So I had six XP to spend for upgrades. So let's look a bit which upgrades I took. I took Charisma for 3 XP, because Dexter has a lot of allies in the deck. There are 6 ally cards, so uh, it's good to have 2 allies out, and I really would like to get the, at least 1 ally out in this game, and uh, preferably Leo De Luca or Molly Maxwell. And uh, when I have those in play, I still want to get another strong ally, like uh, Randolph Carter or one of those two in play. David Renfield is uh, an optional ally if I need resources that can be really good. I also upgraded my emergency caches to easy marks and to make room for one more easy mark I dropped one lone wolf and I also upgraded Leo De Luca to where to level 1 Leo De Lucas to make them cheaper and that was all 6 XP I had to spend so I suffered two mental trauma in the last scenario one for getting defeated and one for not finishing the scenario in time so Dexter starts with two horror on him at the start that's about it we start at the burial grounds and our objective is to find a key that Randall has lost here in the unnameable. So let's get going. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. As usual I've pre-shuffled the encounter and player decks, so let's draw our opening hand of 5 cards. Uh, no weaknesses, so we have a uh, lucky cigarette case, sixth sense, quick thinking, spectre razor, and watch this. So no allies again. I think I'll keep the lucky cigarette case and sixth sense and uh, look for an ally. So we got Leo De Luca, and we immediately draw another one for the weakness. And David Renfield and Mr. Relay. Okay, so at least we have plenty of allies to play and ways to get clues efficiently. So let's shuffle the cards we mulliganed in back into the deck. So I think I'll play down Renfield and Sixth Sense on the first turn and investigate and also start getting resources with Renfield. Dexter actually has good synergy with Renfield because you can bounce Renfield back into your hand if the Doom Threshold is getting too high on uh, Renfield. Also Renfield boosts uh, will power that Dexter needs to succeed in tests. So I'm pretty happy drawing Renfield at the start, but let's see if this this uh, scenario goes any better. So we have our opening hand. Uh, we start by playing uh, down uh, Renfield, and immediately I'll put one Doom on him and exhaust him to get one resource. Then I'll play 6th sense. 
and I'll investigate. So I'm investigating six versus four. So that would mean uh, all the special tokens are small enough, except that I am at the graveyard, so a skull would fail us. Well, let's hope we don't pull a skull. Uh, a minus three, so uh, we unfortunately fail, but that's okay. We can try again next turn. So that's my turn. I get one resource and one card. And we get Molly Maxwell. Well, I just might play Molly instead of uh, Leo De Luca. And when I have enough resources, I will exchange Renfield for Leo later. But really nice to get to try out Molly. Uh, okay, so that's our turn. Let's go to the next turn. We get the first Doom onto the agenda. The threshold is 5 Doom, so we are at 2 Doom of uh, 5. We get an encounter card and it is a uh, Crypt Chill. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, before we lose Renfield, I'll use Renfield and get two resources. I think I'm... If I fail this, I'll discard Renfield and just play Molly instead. But let's see, I'm 6 versus 4. Uh, minus 1. So luckily we don't have to discard an ally or 6 cents. Yeah, first action. I'm debating if I just take one resource. Yeah, we got to do that. So I'll take one resource. And I play down Leo. So we have an extra action. And Leo costs five resources. I'll investigate. I think uh, I'll commit the lucky cigarette case to the test, just so that uh, minus four, uh, threes won't fail us. So I'm seven versus four. It's a plus one, so we get this clue. And as a three triggered ability, I'll uh, remember that investigators know this the missing bones, so I'll just mark it with that, that token there. And last action, I'll move into the front porch. There's one clue here. And that's our turn. Uh, we get one card. And one resource. And ready our cards so that is that turn let's go to the next turn okay so we get another doom so we're at four of five doom and I'll draw an encounter card and it is threats of reality revelation attacks the non-permanent non-weakness asset you control with the highest printed cost Otherwise, threats of reality gain search. Read attach asset affected printed text box per blank. Discard an asset you control. Discard threats of reality. Okay. So it is uh, attached to Leo. So unfortunately, we lose lose uh, the extra action. I'll think I'll. Uh, use Renfield, so we put another Doom on Renfield, and we get three resources. And first action, I'll 
this card to Renfield and that gets rid of threats of reality and we get the extra action back second action I'll play down Molly Maxwell I get uh, cost three. I still had two resources left to play down Mr. Frillet, and so I will use Molly here. So I put one horror on Molly, an exhauster, and I look for a card in my deck that has. A uh, I think I look for a spell. So a spell card. So I'll just take the deck. So it's an item, not a spell. Trick. So we get the spectral razor. At least now we have a way to deal damage if we get a gas enemy or something worse. We shuffle our deck and actually oh sorry I I misplayed that it needs to be an asset so unfortunately I shuffled my deck so let's look for an asset with the spell trait okay so we get the shrieling Uh, new cards, so there's always a bit of learning how to use them properly. Okay, so I got the shriveling. That's uh, really nice. Now we just need resources to get it into play. Uh, next action, I'll investigate here. Actually... The clue here is not that important yet, so I'll I'll move uh, on this side doorway. Okay, so there's two clues here, and I think I'll risk this and play Drawn to the Flame here. So we get an encounter card, and it is uh, Grasping Hands. So I test agility. Three. For each point I fail, I take one damage. I have an agility of two, so I think allies are taking a bunch of damage. It's a skull, it's a minus one. Uh, so I'll take two damage. So Leo gets one and Molly gets one. That wasn't that bad. And uh, we also get these two clues from here. So investigators in the den spend one clues per investigators group. Remember that the investigators studied that is the greatest fortune. So I'll use uh, one clue to remember that and I'll also mark that down with the token. Okay, so that's our turn. We ready up our cards and new card and it is word of protection and we get one resource so far so good uh, let's go to the next turn we are at three doom of five and the encounter card is secrets in the attic test willpower three if you fail take one horror and put secrets in the attic into play next to the agenda deck uh, three triggered abilities on locations cannot be triggered. At the end of the round, discard one copy of secrets in the attic from play. Okay. Uh, I'm testing uh, five versus three. I pull an elder sign. Again, I have to check. You may return one asset from your play area to your hand, then draw one card. So, as I understand this, uh, 
I first may return one asset, uh, which I won't do because I like all of my assets in play at the moment. And then I draw one card. So in the last game I forgot to draw the card, but now I draw one card. I get the Lone Wolf. That's nice. And we pass this, so gets discarded. Uh, okay, I think I'll play down Lone Wolf. Mm, I'll just put it here. That is basically there if I get a nasty treachery that uh, affects my uh, assets. It's an easy discard then. I think now we'll use Molly's ability again. So we add one horror here. And I look for... I look for an item asset. Okay, so we get the lucky cigarette case. I think we're all set with spells, so the cigarette case would be nice to get into play. So we get a bit more card draw going. Okay, and second action, I'll move to the entryway. And third action, I'll move to the other downstairs doorway, and it is the parlor. For each investigator at the parlor, it gets plus one shroud. There's one clue there. And... Uh, so basically has the ability if we are damaging the unnameable somehow. Recover the strange key here, but I think we'll... Just investigate to get the, get the clue and the victory point and then move upstairs. So investigating with uh, 5 versus 3. Uh, it's an auto fail, so we unfortunately failed the test. Uh, that's our turn. We ready up cards and get one card, and it's another David Renfield, and we get one resource. Okay, that's our turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at uh, 4, Doom of 5. The encounter card is... Swarm of Rats. Okay, well, I think we need to punch, punch some rats to death. Okay. Mm, first thing I'll do is I'll put one horror on Molly and I look for an item asset. So shriveling and derringer is an item. Okay. Uh, first action. I'll just punch the rats, uh, 3 versus 1. Uh, minus 1, we kill off the rats. Uh, second action... Actually, it's free trigger ability. I'll discard Molly She's served her purpose And we will play Dave Grenfield into play So it gets a one discount So there's that only one resource. I'll put one Doom on Renfield because we're at the Witching Hour, so we'll advance either way next turn and. Uh, just a second. Yeah, so 
we'll get one resource. And I think I'll prepare for the next turn, so I'll play down the shriveling. So I'll take one resource. Uh, just I think so that was that was the actually now I've lost count of my actions. Oh yeah. Also I was lone wolf so I get one resource so I basically don't need the resource taking. Oh yeah. Um, so I played Renfield with the discount and it's part of this free tier trigger ability that I can do once per round so it doesn't take an action. So the first action is play down the Shri Valley. Uh, no, the first action was to punch the rats. The second action is to play the Shri Valley. Okay, now I think I'm on track with the action count. So we have a defensive spell in play to deal with enemies. And I think I'll investigate. Uh, I'm 6 versus 3. It's a minus 1. We get one clue. And last action, I'll move it to the entry way. Start heading up upstairs next turn. And no enemies. We go to upkeep. We ready up cards. Get one card. Easy mark. And one resource. Okay, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so the agenda advances. We have five Doom in play, actually six with Renfield, and we get the unnameable. So it spawns at the attic or upstairs hallway. Aloof, Hunter cannot be defeated. For each of the following which are true, the unnameable gets minus one fight and minus one evade. Investigators found a cracked mirror, studied a desecrated portrait or noticed the missing bones. So uh, I'll just see we've studied the desecrated portrait and found the bones so uh, the unnameable is a uh, 3 fight and 3 evade. Just keep the unnameable here for the moment. Then, uh, let's see. So each swarm of rats gains swarming 1. At the start of your turn, if the unname unnameable is ready and at your location, test willpower 2. If you fail, it attacks you. Even if it's not engaged. Okay. And the encounter card for this turn is a Glimpse of the Underworld. Put a Glimpse of the Underworld into play in your threat area. When you when you would take damage and or horror, take one additional damage or horror. Free triggered ability, discard Glimpse of the Underworld, then take one damage and one horror. So I usually just uh, remove that as soon as possible, but let's see. Um, so we get the lone wolf uh, resource, and I'll put one doom on Renfield and exhaust, and get one resource. And then I'll Take one damage and one horror, and I remove this from the game. Uh, actually, I just discard it. And uh, I think I'll play down the lucky cigarette case. And I'll move up. Uh, actually, free trigger ability. I reveal the upstairs hallway because 
a Mandalore's presence prevents you from adventuring upstairs. You cannot enter the upstairs hallway, but now it's revealed, so I can move there. And so we move there for our second action and a free action. I'll spend one clue and I'll put the attic location into play. And that was a free uh, triggered ability. And I'll move to the attic. Attic has four shroud uh, investigators in the attic. Spend one clue per investigators group. Deep within a pile of monstrous bones, you will see a glint of silver. Remember that the investigators recovered a strange key. So that is what we came for. <laughs> and I think the last action is just us investigating. So I'm investigating six versus four. And it's an elder thing. Uh, it's minus two. If you fail, you must either place one of your tools on your location or take one damage. But we succeed. We get the clue and immediately I use the free tripter ability. So we re recovered a strange key. Oh. Let's use uh, other than location counter. Okay. That's our turn. The unnameable hunts upstairs, but it's aloof, so it doesn't do anything. We uh, ready our cards, and we draw one card, and we get the Yastarot, the uh, difficult card to pronounce. So I cannot put assets into play, so I think I'll just uh, use two actions next turn to discard that, if possible. And we get one resource. And that's our turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Okay, so we add one Doom onto the agenda and then counter card is Gold Minion. And uh, the burial ground has the uh, extra rule that each gold enemy drawn spawns at burial ground instead of its normal location. So we spawned the gold minion there. This was one of the rules I got wrong on my blind playthrough. So lucky I learned from that mistake. So we just spawn the gold there so the problem with this is that there can be like a bunch of these goals in play there that will make it really difficult to get past them uh, towards the end of the scenario but yeah uh, at the start of my turn i need to test willpower uh, two test to see if the unnameable attacks me so I'm a 6 versus 2, I pull a minus 3, so I pass, so that's that, and I think we'll just start looking for more places to get victory points before we head to the graveyard. Mm. So first action we'll move here, second action, let's check out this room. So it's the bedroom. Two actions, discard all known weakness threat records from your threat area. Uh, one fast action, investigators in bedrooms and one clues as group. Remember that the investigators found the cracked mirror. Okay. And I will think at the clue there. I think I'll use two of my remaining actions to get rid of uh, this weakness. So that is my turn. Mm. Yeah. So 
enemy face uh, this unnameable moves to the upstairs hallway the gold does nothing there just stands there uh, we get one card and one resource and also we actually got one resource from lone wolf that i forgot to take and we draw leo de luca so we could basically uh, discard leo and play the other leo with a discount to heal up leo so that's nice so that is the turn let's go to the next turn we add another doom we get the encounter card and it is uh, threats of reality it would go on to leo but this time I think I will uh, use Ward of Protection to ignore this. So, cost one and I'll take one horror. And I'll take it, yeah, I'll have to take it by myself. And investigations. Uh, return first action I'll in actually I'll take two resources then I think I'll have enough of Mr. Renfield and now I will investigate six versus three. It's a cultist, so we reveal another token. Minus two. Six uh, versus five, so we pass the test, we get the clue, and I'll use the first ability to spend the clue, and we found a cracked mirror. And that was our first action. I think I'll switch Renfield to a Derringer next turn. Because uh, I just realized that I can't uh, play Leo again. Because it has to be a different named asset. So I think we'll switch uh, Renfield to a weapon next turn but this turn i'll just move twice let's check out this room it's the library as an additional cost to investigate the library you must either lose one action or take one horror uh, fast uh, triggered ability investigators in the library spend one clues as a group you read a strange journal entry regarding one of the graves in the burial ground outside but uh, put the set aside unmarked location in the place so this is what uh, we definitely need to do I'll take uh, one horror I'll take it on myself and I'll investigate because I don't have actions to lose anymore so I'm uh, six versus one it's the elder sign, uh, elder thing, so minus two, we pass, and we also get a card with the lucky secret case. I draw, I'll read the signs, so we get the clue that was here, and we spend it, so we put the unmarked tomb into play. And now we just need to head there. Okay, uh, enemy face, uh, the unnameable moves here, does nothing. And upkeep, we get one card, another read the signs, and one resource. Okay, so that's our turn. Let's go to the next turn. Mm, we are at 5 doom altogether. The encounter card is uh, Grasping Hands. I won't commit anything to this because we fail a lot. 
we can just put the damage on Renfield. Okay, uh, let's see what we get. So we are uh, two versus three, so I need a plus one for a better to succeed. Well, I get the plus one. So we take no damage. That's okay, because we want to play uh, discard uh, David either way. So, uh, unnameable is at our location, so I need to test the willpower 2 test. Uh, I'm 6 versus 2. Get a cultist, so we draw another token. It's a 0. So we pass. And as a free trigger ability, I'll act, uh, first exhaust Renfield, put the Doom on him, and get three resources. And also, I get one resource from uh, Lone Wolf. So I have so many resources. I have actually ten resources right now. So I think we are set with resources. Then I will use Dexter's ability, I'll discard Renfield. And I'll put the Derringer into play. It comes into play one uh, cost less, so only two resources and there's three bullets on it. So we have a backup if we run out of shrivelings. And then my first action, so done so much without even using an action. So first action will move, second action will move, and third action will move. The ghoul minion engages us, and last action I'll shoot a shriveling charge at the ghoul minion. So I am 5 versus 2. To be sure I don't miss, I'll commit one of these read the signs to the test. So I'm 6 versus 2. It's a 0, so the ghoul minion is defeated. And that's our turn. So the unnameable moves to the upstairs hallway. And we get the card and a resource. So Spectral Razor is quite good. Okay, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay. Um, we add one Doom, so we are 4 of 6. Then counter card is uh, Lumbering Gug. Okay, well, this is a tough one. I really wouldn't have wanted to see that yet, or at all actually. So it has 6 health. So it's a bit of an annoyance to deal with. I think I'll... Could I try to evade it? Actually... I think I'll try to evade it. I'm probably not playing Mist of Relay or Easy Mark anymore. So... I'll try to evade and commit Mist of Relay and Easy Mark to the test. So I'm... Evading uh, 4 versus 2. Oh yeah, I uh, get the resource from Lone Wolf. So I get Elder Sign. Uh, I may return an asset from my play area to my hand for a card. I think I'll return Lone Wolf and draw a card. 
So I get the Randolph Carter, which is really good. I'll definitely play him down next. So this uh, Lumbering Gog is uh, exhausted. And that was our first action. And we succeed by two. Uh, so I get a card from uh, Bucky Secret Case and I get what's this. So six cards in hand. This is uh, going so much better than the last, <laughs> last scenario. Uh, second action, I'll move to the Unmarked Tomb. And there's one clue here. And I'll just investigate. Actually, I'll play down Randolph Carter. So I have now uh, plus one will and plus one uh, knowledge. So I'm investigating six versus. Hmm. I think I won't have time to play Leo again, so I'll commit Leo to the test. Uh, 7 versus 3. So I pass. And that's all of our actions. Enemy phase, the unnameable moves here. Upkeep phase. Uh, yeah, this this guy doesn't ready. So I basically, when there's a enemy that doesn't ready, like uh, this guy or the one from the t uh, the circle undone, uh, I just put two exhaust counters and remove one. So it's easy to remember when he really ready is and we get one card and one resource okay so that is that turn uh, actually at the end of the round if each undefeated investigator is at unmarked tomb and the investigators recovered a strange key advance the act so we finally get to advance this act and We put the unnameable aside. Remove each location from the game. Uh, place in the victory display if that has victory X and no clues on it. Investigators are not defeated during this process. Other enemies and attachments at those locations are discarded. Shuffle the set aside mysterious stairs locations and put five of them into play in a vertical line, remove the remaining mysterious stairs locations from the game, place each investigator at the set aside unnameable enemy at the topmost mysterious stairs location, revealing it. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for both copies of locked door and both copies of secrets in the attic and remove them from the game, shuffle each set aside copy of endless descent into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So there's so much to do, so I'll just pause the video while I'll do the uh, mid-scenario setup changes. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we have set up the endless stairs. So we start from the topmost and the objective is to get to the bottommost and resign. And the unnameable starts with us here. Uh, this location is revealed and it's the one where you move the unnameable to it when it's revealed. And it, while the unnameable is at this location and has fewer than one damage per investigator on it, investigators at this location can move or resign. Okay. So we need to damage the unnameable somehow and then 
we need to evade it. And I'll actually put these counters on the unnameable. So we found the cracked mirror, started the desecrated portrait and noticed the missing bones. So there are three in three counters on the unnameable. Remind us that it's a fight and a evade minus three. So it's a two uh, dash two enemy. So it's a bit easier to evade and fight against. And well, that's our end of the turn. So we go to upkeep. Uh, actually, we did the upkeep and that happened at the end of the round. So that's the round done. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a fifth doom onto the agenda and we shuffled and changed the cards from the encounter deck. So let's see what we get. Uh, we get night terrors and I really wished I had the cancel in hand, the ward, but I will think I'll just try to get rid of it. So I am, uh, well, first action. I'll uh, try to get rid of it. So I'm testing uh, six, seven versus four. Plus one. So we get rid of it. Mm. I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll engage the unnameable and I will... I think I'll just use the derringer. So I am uh, 6 versus 2. So minus four or better. Uh, we get a minus three. So we deal one damage and it's enough. And now, oh yeah, at the start of the round, again, I need to test the willpower test. So five versus two, if I fail the unnameable attacks, etc. So I pass just to not forget about that. So uh, that is done. Last action, I'll try to evade the unnameable. I'll commit a watch this and lone wolf to the test. And I'll just put three resources and watch this. Why, why not? I'm evading four versus two. Minus two. So we managed to evade the unnameable. So our plan works, and I'll get sick. Uh, actually, I'll lose those resources. No matter. And I have the spectral razor at hand. So enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep face, unnameable readies, and we get resource on the card. Another spectral razor, so we have everything we can have for fighting if we get sworn with enemies. So that's that's nice. And that's that turn done. So let's go to the next turn. Okay, uh, we add a sixth doom here, so the agenda advances. I really can't remember what happens when this advances. Well, nothing bad. We just shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And now each swarm of rats gains swarming too. The unnameable loses aloof and gains massive. Oh dear. We really would have wanted to get out of this location before that happened. 
At the start of your turn, if the unnameable is ready at, at your location, test will power to if you fail it, unnameable attacks you. Well, uh, that's that's bad. Well, maybe maybe we can pull out the lucky evade, but again, I would really want to have the mists in play, but I didn't. I don't have the. <laughs> space for it unfortunately i have to see in the next scenario if i can do something about that and uh, we get the encounter card and it is uh, threats of reality oh no uh, that's to the non-permanent non-weakness asset you control with the highest printed cost otherwise the temporary gain surge so it's attached to Leo, so again we lose the extra action, but we really would have needed this turn. Oh man. So, uh, I think we'll just have to try and evade. So, at least it doesn't have a loof. So I'm testing 2 versus 2. I really need to succeed with uh, one of the first two tests to get to the next location before that thing uh, readies again. Oh yeah, uh, let's test the... Uh, before we do anything, let's test the uh, willpower test at the start of the turn. So I'm uh, 6 versus 2. Elder sign. Uh, I mean Elder thing. So we can exhaust Randolph and draw two cards. So maybe this helps. Well, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, why are you doing me this to me game? <laughs> so we get haunted. And now... Well, we got... What's this? That helps, but we have to discard the haunted so we don't fail on even even numbers. Uh, this, this sucks. I think I'll. I think I'll have to just try to get lucky, so I'll commit watch this to the first evasion test. Because if we uh, remove the haunted, um, the unnameable attacks us, then uh, we can evade, but he attacks us at the... If we fail that, he attacks us again. So we are taking two, uh, four horror and four damage. So I don't think we have that. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll think I'll have to just take the damage. So I'll, I'll take the attacks of opportunity. We, we just need to. No, I'll need to evade again next turn. So, uh, yeah, we'll just. Try to evade. Yeah, I'll, I'll put one resource there. Come on. Uh, so I'm three versus two, and I fail if I am equal to the test. And uh, this is a graveyard, so we fail. Okay. I, I just have to get this out of my play area. So we take two horror. I'll put them on Randolph. And two damage. I'll put one on myself and one on Randolph. And in the enemy phase, uh, we'll take another two horror. I'll put them on myself. And two damage. I'll put them on myself. So this this went from 
okay to uh, awful <laughs> in a chiffy, so uh, upkeep, hopefully we draw something, well at least we get the uh, wild icon, so we can, yeah this is actually here because the thing is massive, uh, actually, oh, could have just moved, I'm so dumb. Could have just moved uh, because the unnameable is massive, so we don't have to wait it. We can just we could have just taken one uh, attack of opportunity. Oh dear! Well, that that's just me being dumb because I forgot the massive keyword. Well, that's that turn. Let's see if we can survive the next turn. Okay, uh, we add one doom, so the threshold is uh, one of uh, it's one of seven doom now. Uh, encounter card is uh, ghoul minion. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, first action. Let's just. Uh, I think I'll Spectral Razor this cool minion because we don't want to take the horror if we pull a bad token. So I am uh... okay. So I didn't notice the camera battery dying while I was playing my last turn. So what happened is I uh, defeated the ghoul on my second try, so I uh, spent both of the spectral razors for that. Then I evaded the uh, unnameable. I played quick thinking, and I actually pulled an elder sign for that. So I returned Leo de Luca to my hand. So I got the Threads of Reality discarded, and with the extra action I managed to move to this location. And this location is... it has one resource on it, and I test my lowest skill, difficulty 2. If I succeed, I discard one resource from this location, so I can move onwards. Uh, that was a really... Spectacular turn, so I'm really bummed out that the camera died. But I think I'll just continue. There's no point like replaying that turn. Uh, okay, but yeah, that happens when you're not uh, watching the camera battery closely. But yeah, uh, that's that turn. We pulled uh, with the Elder Sun a Derringer and at the end of the turn the Grown to the Flame card. So yeah, that's that turn that you unfortunately missed, but let's continue to the next turn. Okay, and we add another Doom. Encounter card is Endless Descent. Move each investigator and an enemy at the topmost location to the location below it. Uh, flip the topmost location to its unrevealed side. Discard all tokens and attachments from it and place it below the bottommost location. Shuffle the position of each unrevealed location so you cannot tell which is which. Add this card to the victory display. Okay. That's unfortunate. So the unnameable moves here. And this moves here. And we shuffle these three. Uh, actually, let's check one more time. And this is on uh, revealed, so 
That that really sucks. Now we have to deal with the unnameable again. And then we need to succeed in this agility test. So uh, we test the will will test and in six versus two. Cultist and Zero, so we pass. So, investigation phase. Um, we just have to try and evade this. Nameable, I'll commit quick thinking to the test. So, I'm three versus two. Uh, hopefully, I can pull it off. It's a tentacle. Uh, Place one of my clues and take one down. Yeah. Well, that clue doesn't bother us, but well, at least we draw two cards. And now the word of protection comes. One, to, one moment too late. Well, that was the evasion. Uh, let's see that again. I'll commit the war of protection to this test. So three versus two. Minus three. So we fail. And I'll just test the uh, evade again because if that. Uh, Unnameable hits us, we're defeated. Okay, so two versus two. Mm, come on. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, we actually already <laughs> died because the unnameable hits us. Well, two damage to horror, yeah. So Let's pretend we died from the last evasion attempt, so yeah, that was the game. I think I'll be defeated by damage, so I get the physical trauma, accompany my two mental, mental traumas, and that is the game. So, yeah, we really got screwed by the encounter deck and the chaos back as soon as we got to the stairs that's really unfortunate so so each investigator was defeated we go to resolution 2 so investigators recovered a strange key we proceed to resolution 3 so we record that Randolph survived the descent each investigator gains experience equal to the victory X value in the victory display. So we get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 experience. And we add one skull to the bag. And that's it. Uh, we continue to next scenario that is point of no return. So. Well, uh, at least in this game, uh, the Dexter deck works much better. We managed to actually uh, shuffle around some assets and stuff. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Uh, we died from bad, bad luck and bad draws against the unnameable attacks. So... Yeah, uh, if we wouldn't have drawn that specific uh, treachery 
or we would have had the Ward of Protection at hand, we would have possibly succeeded in this test and got to move uh, uh, further down. But uh, this also is a tough scenario. The whole campaign of the of Dream side of the Dream Eaters uh, expansion is, in my opinion, really tough if you're playing solo, but uh, it's still really well done and the scenarios are interesting at least on in my opinion but yeah this was the game hope you guys enjoyed this uh, i'll put the deck with the upgrades into the video description below if you want to check it out in more detail and thanks for watching until next time